also mentioned Zionism and said that some of our young people in the Persian Gulf may not understand the role that Zionism is playing in this conflict. Could you explain what you mean by that? Unfortunately, they don't know what Zionism is, but Zionism is a political philosophy which has brought about the state of Israel, the so-called state of Israel. This, this political philosophy has nothing to do with religion. On the contrary, it seeks to confuse others and let them think that Zionism and Judaism is one and the same. I am a conscious African. I know properly my history. I know that Africa gave Judaism to the world. I know that the first Jews in the world were Africans. Not only do I know this, but I inform everyone who has doubts about it to read a book by Sigmund Freud entitled Moses and Monotheism as a beginning. Consequently, I know that Judaism and Zionism are not the same. Zionism had its first organizational expressions in 1897 in Bath, Switzerland, in Europe. Here was a man by the name of Theodor Herzl, H-E-R-Z-L. He was the founder of Zionism. He said that he was going to find the state that God promised the Jews. Listen to this very carefully. This man, Herzl, was an atheist. He had believed that there was no God. He said God did not exist. Now, how is it that the man who d believes that God does not exist is going to find a state that God promised to his chosen people? I'm telling you, this man is Satan in disguise. Zionism is a satanic movement. It is devil. It is imperialism. It is racist. It has gone and taken the lands of the Palestinian people and through terrorism has driven them out. And through terrorism, it maintains its power. And the United States of America, with over six million homeless, sends to the 